Hey friends, it's Mr. Chad, and I'm here to help you with your packet, your schoolwork. I hope you're having fun at home, but now it's time to learn. So put your thinking caps on. You ready? All right, here we go. Right here I have my math packets. So make sure that you have this page in front of you. We're gonna start on the first page, okay? On the first page, we see some math vocabulary. We're gonna use math vocabulary to compare numbers. I believe that you've done this exercise before, so you should be able to remember, okay? This packet is review. That means we've done it before, and we're gonna do it again to remember, to learn and to remember, okay? Let's begin. All right, so we have on number one, so put your finger on number one. All right, so we have um, two numbers, two and two. The first question we need to ask ourselves, are they the same? If so, are they the same? Yes, they are. So let's look and try to find a math vocabulary word that, is, that tells us that they are the same. Is one of them greater? No. Is one of them fewer? No. Are they equal to each other? Yes. So you will write equal to in each space. All right. Now as you look at number two, we see that these numbers are not the same. Okay? If it helps, you can write the, you can count how many objects and write the number. So I'll do that right here. One, two, three, four. Okay? Well, one, two, three. Okay. Now I know how many there are. All right. So now I need to figure out what word I need to use to describe each number. So the words we have are greater, fewer, and equal to. I'm going to turn down the brightness so we can see better. There we go. All right. So we have to decide, is four greater, fewer, or equal? Is three greater, fewer, or equal? Under the four diamonds, you'll write which word is correct. And under the Under the three diamonds, you'll choose the word that is the correct to write, and you'll write it in this space, okay? All right, so go ahead and finish this page, and then we'll go on to the next one. Press pause. All right, are you ready? Here we go. Let's go to the next page. On the back page, you see that we have different objects, okay? And we have some different words. We're gonna be doing something, a similar thing. So we will choose the correct word to compare our numbers. So first, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have ten here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. All right. So I have some choices. I have the word more, the word less, and the word same as. Okay. So let's see. Is 10 more than 17, or is 10 less than 17, or is 10 the same as 17? That's right. 10 is less than 17. And 17 is, that's right, more. All right, let's go ahead and continue to the next page and then you can come back and finish. 
All right, here we are in the story problems, okay? All right, so I'm going to read these story problems to you, okay? You can grab a blank piece of paper, and you can. what I want you to do is I want you to draw the story. So I'll draw the characters or the objects in the story to help you solve the problem, okay? So here we have the story, and over here we have a plus and a minus sign. You're going to color in what sign you're going to use. Are we doing addition, putting together, or are we doing subtraction, taking apart, or taking away? You have to decide based on what you hear in the story. All right, you ready? Turn your ears on and listen carefully. Put your finger, finger ready, read with me. Steve ate three blue popsicles, and Evan eight five blue popsicles how many popsicles did they eat in all okay all right so I'm gonna draw my story so over here I have okay 